Today's Google Classroom is about fractions. We have two separate parts in our Google Classroom. The first one is going to be on equal parts, and the second one is going to be on writing fractions. So let's go ahead and look at our first one. Equal parts. So I have a shape right here divided into sections. I need to tell if those sections are equal or not equal. So I'm going to take my check mark here. I'm going to click it to select it. I'm going to drag it over. If they're equal parts, which means they're all the same size and the same shape, I'm going to put it under equal. But if they're not equal, they're different sizes or different shapes, I'm going to put my check mark under not equal. Now I see this circle is divided not equally. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my check mark under not equal. Then I have an arrow pointing down to this word saying why. I need to explain why I chose not equal. So I'm going to double click, which means click twice on this question mark, and you'll see how it's highlighted blue. I can now type my answer, and I'm going to say the parts are different sizes. And that's going to tell your teacher that you know why those parts are not equal. So there's a couple of them over here you can see. Triangles, rectangles, circles. All right, we're going to go ahead and skip to writing fractions. Let's look at the first one here. I have a shape divided, and then it's also shaded or colored. My top number, my numerator, is going to be how many um, parts are shaded or colored. So I see only one part is shaded. So I'm going to double click, which means click two times on my numerator question mark, my top question mark, and I see that it's now highlighted blue, so I can type there. And I'm going to type the number 1, because one of those squares is colored in. Now my denominator, this is where first graders mess up, my denominator is not what's left over. My denominator is how many parts all together. It doesn't matter if they're colored or white, it's counting how many parts are in the whole shape. So I see I have one, two parts in my shape. So I'm going to go ahead and double click. I did, but you can do it again. Double click, so make sure my question mark is highlighted blue. And then that tells me I can type the number two. And then if I read that fraction, one half, I can see that that is correct. One out of two of the squares are colored in or shaded. And then you'll see there's rectangles all the way down. Some of them have two equal parts, some of them have three, some of them have four. So be careful when you're writing your fractions. Okay, don't forget to turn it in so your teacher can check you.